What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome to the Dark Pictures Anthology, The Devil in Me. Now, this particular game hits a little bit closer to home. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but in House of Ashes, we dealt with terrorism across the ocean. This time, we're in America with a certain somebody very famous in America. I cannot wait to play this because of the fact that I know who it is. I'm actually rather terrified. I don't know who I'm going to keep alive. I don't know who all is going to die, but we're going to do our best with the final game in Chapter 1 of the Dark Pictures Anthology. Without further ado, let's get right on into it. For they have sown the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. Hosea chapter 8, verse 7. Every choice has a consequence. Some decisions save lives. Oh, not the homie Splinter. And look at you looking around like somebody's going to tell you you can't eat it. 64 feet, Jeff. Can you imagine it? Okay, let's see what we I'm got here. To. World's Columbian Exposition continues to draw huge crowds. Oh, a fair. Make that our first priority. Y'all been on a Ferris wheel? Let me know. I've been Whatever on a small you one. Most. You please me the most. Marie, the World's Fair you Hotel, Chicago. In the 1800s. The yeah. I will never be weary of you. I shall hold you to that, my dear. <laughs> oh, the good old snake oil salesman. Ride. Man, old time America was beautiful. Isn't this grand? It really As advertised, is. Very nice. Wow. Quiet as hell, too. That would already be off-putting for me. Of course, no receptionist. Creepy hotel. They're either gonna be freaky looking. Are we the only ones here? Or I'm they're sure not gonna be there. I'm sure that was a mad there. dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. Why are you smiling so much? Yeah, that's why you go and bite the dust. All that smiling you doing. Teeth and everything. Try again? Mm -hmm. Don't do that. They hate it when you ring the bell twice. Oh, see. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> no. I already know brother's finna die. I don't need to see that. Well, this does not bode well for the level of service we're in store for. Well, you ringing that bell like you did is... <laughs> I mean, let's go to the fair. To heck with it. That's we can check in later. Morning. Let's sign in and go straight there. We're not going anywhere if no one checks us in. All right, fine. Now you don't run it a third service. time. That means they're making sure everything is perfect. Yeah. That's my Marie. Always finding that silver lining. Mmm. My sincere apologies. Oh. oh my gosh. For both startling you and for making you wait. My attention is that him? Needed elsewhere. Is that him? Is that Mr. Holmes? I promise from here on out it will be nothing but silver linings. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Please, sign in here. Uh-huh, let's see them names First on there. First time in Chicago? I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. God, I don't the like fair. how he's looking. Yes, but that's not all. Right, because y'all had... is a very special day for us. Y'all just got married. Oh. Congratulations. The honeymoon. How very, very lovely. 
We gonna sign the paper, or...? Perhaps my wife, Mrs. Whitman, would like to sign. Uh-huh. That's a bit yes. odd. Okay, okay. Today's the beginning Press of our honeymoon. Pick up. Yep, I remember how to do this. Congratulations. Let me, let me peep them names on the... I in can't that them. case, an upgrade is in order. World's Fair a Hotel. Honeymoon suite it is. Ooh. Oh, well, uh... Now let's see. Much higher? <laughs> let's see you put the right name on there. I think nothing of it. The same rates as your regular room. The upgrade is on us. You're our first honeymooners. How kind. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Henry Howard Holmes. H H himself. You have a lovely hotel, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you very much. I designed and built most of it myself. I bet you did. You're an architect then? Yeah. Architect, designer, builder, mm -hmm. psychopath, doctor, artist. I'm a man of many interests. Mm -hmm. Impressive. Please have a look around. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. Okay. I'll take your luggage up to your room and ensure that everything is in order. He is glancing just around just make way to too anything, much, man. And we will oh add it to your bill. Can you imagine? Thank you, Mr. Holmes. We appreciate it. You know, they say the you walk past the killer, what, like 20 times a day or something like that? I forgot how it was. But, bro, that's the scariest thing in the world. You don't know who you're talking to right now. You don't. Oh, man. Oh, man. She's going to be the first target, too. Daggummit. Now, what did I forget to bring? Oh, no. What's this on the, what's this on the side right here? What is that? What, what is this? Ointment? Bath milk. Oh, is this like soap? Bearings update when the story branches in important ways. Let me see that. Marie purchased the rose water. Okay, we finna be smelling good up in that bath then. Oh, pardon me, miss. Careful, you. My husband gets awfully cross with men who act fresh. Hmm, he sounds like a ripe fellow. How's the marriage going? Lovely. Thanks for asking. Hmm. Well, let's just head up. I'm sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? What I see a like whole to... lot of the same thing. That's for sure. See, you shouldn't have rang that bell. Yes, let's see the name. World's Fair Hotel. Darn. I wonder if she put her name down as that. I, I'm sus. I'm sus about both of these people. I'm starting to think I've gone and married a thrill seeker. Ferris wheels, forbidden rooms. Are we looking for excitement? Perhaps. I don't know. Are we? I guess we are. Nothing we don't even get a room. choice. See what happens when you chase a thrill? If this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel. I know you won't be denied. Wait, what's that? Oh, here we go. <gasps> here we go. Don't move. The door's already open. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> See, you said that last game and didn't change it at all. Okay. Why would he not go through the whole daggum room? I know I would. That's the security officer in me. I see something that ain't right. I, I gotta get up in there. Nah, you're not dumb. <laughs> that was a thrill. He just you left the door open. We're sleeping on the street after getting kicked out of here. Let's go.
Wow. Wait, we just gonna Welcome act like newlyweds to the honeymoon suite. Okay. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. All that smiling Do you enjoy doing your stay. It's gonna come back to bite you. If you'll excuse me, I have work to return to. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. Mm -mm. <laughs> that is a nice room, though. Goodness, this place is fit for a king. I'm trying to tell you. Or my queen. That's a whole oh, bedroom. Yeah. Kiss this. <sighs> that is not very wifely of you. Mmm. <sighs> hey! Ah! Bullseye! You asked for it. Yeah, let's get him. Right to the jawline! <laughs> Should I be frightened? If you're smart. <laughs> now let's slam dunk him. Uh -huh. I have the high ground. Nope. I have the high ground. <laughs> Mercy, mercy. Okay, Special you win. Special feature unlock. Anything broken? What, pillow fight? Only my pride. When's the last time y'all had a pillow How about fight? A Let me know. Offering? Hmm. This feels like some sort of treacherous plot. Not at all. I have a gift for you. Mm-hmm. Close your eyes and face the mirror. Aren't you clever and romantic? If I get a pillow to the face, I will sock you right in the kisser. <laughs> Is there a problem? No. Ooh, okay. Open Bearing updated. Hold on, let me see what that says. Jeff gave Marie the necklace he purchased from the jewelry counter. Okay, interesting. Oh, Jeff, it's lovely. I love it. Good. Victory is mine. Hey. I'll let you have that bath now. Go get in. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh, bro. That is literally so many people's worst nightmare is being in a hotel and being spied on. What are you doing? It's jammed shut. Maybe if we put a little weight into it before the timer runs out. <sighs> Got it. Open sesame. <laughs> Thank you. Why don't you have a shave while I take a quick bath? Then we can reconvene. I know that word. It's French for something illicit. <laughs> Shush. Shave. I think I forgot to pack my razor and kit. I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. <laughs> don't you worry. Mmm. He's like, it's scratchy when you... I ain't gonna say it. Settle into the hotel, find a shaving kit. <clears throat> All right. We gonna shave you because I'll be damned if I shave myself. Who would have thought that shaving your beard would be something that people take so seriously? Hmm. I could have sworn this was the way we came up. Didn't you need to find a shaving kit, though? Well... If a shaving kit ain't on the other side of this door, we gonna figure out what is. What? <laughs> ain't no way, cuz! Oh my god. It's like that? It's like that? Three! It's like that? <laughs> I told y'all I was scared! Yo! A character can equip items they have in their inventory to equip an item. What? Bro, I just happened to buy this? <laughs> what is this exactly? This has got to be some type of acid, isn't it? 
Oh, oh no! Girl! People, let me tell y'all something. Two words here. Situational awareness. You've got to have it. You have got to have it. In the bath and everything. We in until dawn again. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh, you have on a necklace. If anything comes behind me, I gotta be ready. Is that you, darling? She has on a necklace. The one Jeff? thing that can happen right now is her getting choked out. Oh, are we playing another game? Don't, don't do it. Oh boy. Relax or investigate. Oh God. Oh, just go do it. Just go do it. Okay, just go Mr. do it. Sneaky. Just go do it. You can't sneak up on me, Mr. <gasps> Holmes. Hello, my What are dear. you doing in here? Jeff! I What are we doing? I can quite hear you. <laughs> what are we doing? Stop! Oh my gosh. Get away from me. I'm not finished yet. I said get Oh my gosh! Don't fight it. You're joking me. Only hurt more if you do. She's dead like that? <coughs> oh, thank God. Hold up, hold up. Marie chose to investigate. Marie hit Holmes with the rose bottle. Okay, so that was worth Never. it then. <gasps> yeah, I didn't fall what? for it. What are you? What have you done? Calm yourself, sir. He is scared. Is oh bad. my god! Oh, this was inevitable. Is there a problem, sir? This was inevitable. Run! <laughs> oh my god. You are kidding. What in the heck? Oh no, bro! Oh no, bro! Oh no! In the worst way possible! Oh my god, is she still alive? Marie, you gotta get up, girl! How do you know what's going on? Oh, he was just, Marie. he was just saying that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so bad. The sound of the bone hitting the floor! <coughs> oh my gosh, dude! So it was like in House of Ashes. The first two people you had were going to die in some way place for everything everything in its place oh you well, added a piece to this. your collection oh it's wonderful only the best for you my dear mother would simply die it's so i say opulent. good man do you work here hello welcome to the world's fair hotel oh my gosh you sick man Oh, oh yes. Oh, Woo! I'm gonna need it again, bro. Oh, mm. oh, yeah. 
Yes. Won't you spare me over till another year? Yes. My friend, my companion, good old Pip, as the curator, I missed you so much, I have been looking forward to this game, we've had so much action on the channel, and this right here, already has me on edge. That trap door, if that quick time was any faster, I might have missed it. I wasn't ready. Oh man, I'm not ready for this at all. <laughs> I am not ready for this. But at the same time... But at the same time, I need it so much. Whoa. He looks like he's in a hurry. Oh. You're here. Have you been waiting long? Light, Welcome back. Light I do dark? enjoy seeing a familiar face. Yours too! Last time, no one survived. I wonder if you were even trying. Nah, some people did survive. But then again, in regards to the story... It's so good to have company. No one did, really. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here, watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. Okay. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions. Delight, inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread. The way you react, the decisions you make, will affect this story. Don't I know it. Hidden in the work, you'll find dark, Pictures. So now we they have a name for them. The possible Dark pictures. Of your choices. And sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. I gotta read them this time. Really You're look at them. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. I know. I can't interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obbles. Obbles? They put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Mmm. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. We have another I'll be happy mechanic? To exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it worth your while. Or is it. Oh, I have an idea as to well, what that may be. We start? The game is afoot. I will be watching. Is that like with the quarry, where you you do the cards? My name is Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. Kate Wilder. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on Ticket uh, 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 and uh, and yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch, mm. but I'm not. Sure, I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I. Hey, I'm Mark. I wow. study photography at UCLA. Um, 
had a great time. Really want to get back to some serious photography. <laughs> Intros. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a job. I've been a key grip in lighting tech for years. See a problem. Mm-hmm. Light it. I remember you. You don't often meet someone like that. Man, Old I'm girl from start. Man of Madon. I'm sick of being on my own. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or, um, like, personal info? Because I don't, I mean, will anyone Who is watching this? this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonnit, UK originally. Uh, I've been here for 20 years. The last series was so on track. It was, uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and, um, didn't quite, uh, uh hit the mark as I was hoping it would. Oh, you messed people. up. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. You messed up. That I almost scared me. Enough. <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the with devil, devil in me. He did say that, too. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration wow. to sing. Wow, we're in his trial? Bury me deep, Your Honor. Make Those... sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else. And cover the ground with more cement. Cause trust me. The devil will Just come out. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896. Wow. Herman Mudgett, aka Henry H. Holmes, H. H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders. But as investigators sifted through the traces he left behind, following his path from city to city, the number grew significantly. Nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer, and possibly the worst. He was buried as requested, under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? So, what do you think? Ah, huh. so she was standing in front of like a video playing in the background. I halfway thought that she was actually there. To that was honest, clean. Charlie, this is a pilot. Who oh, knew it? Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking. Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, Grantham it's what Dumet. I can do for you. Hear me out. Okay, I'm listening. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. <clears throat> Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m. Be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation <laughs> is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes, of course. We're okay. in. Okay. I'll get them there. I promise. Let's do it. All right, let's check this bearing real quick. Charlie received a call from Grant. Okay, so that's to his H.H. Holmes inspired murder castle. Well, we got a little bit of a detail in that one. Mr. Dumet send you. We. Right. Let's load up, guys. See. All right, got it. I'm good. Sorry. Are you? Oh, I mean, there's the tension. That ring light that makes it all glowy. We leave it behind. Oh, it. You're right. This is gonna be grand. 
People. White gloves. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. No fingerprints. Anyone? Was there somebody oh, in the blue. corner? Huzzah. Uh -huh. Woohoo. Hooray. He's we off in the dark? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm so you know excited. Where going, exactly. You don't like surprises? You know what this just reminds oh, let me, me of? Let me pick this up. Say. It might be a Topeka. quick time. Exactly. Me, no money <clears throat> in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault. Because you fly by the seat of your ass. So... Come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich. He's a recluse. He's obsessed with H.H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Right. I had a Some feeling it was a copycat. recreations from the murder company. Like, I'm not even going to hold you. While that trial was going on, I actually, in my head, thought that that was a copycat. So it's... I, I saw the Boston. plot right Dumet there. Has blueprints. It's a copycat killer. Artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. I told y'all I'm a security officer. I do this. this. Just trust me. Sorry for all the mystery. <gasps> Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. No, sir! While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that Is may share information that can affect my this? business or lifestyle. Mm -mm. There are rules. Oh All footage my. you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do it. Fine. For the show. I'm telling you, this is gonna be great. You said that in Topeka. Mmm. Mm hmm. Just like you said that now. Oh boy, no communication. We're already screwed in a survival scenario. Playing a daggum tape recording. What year is it? <laughs> if this dude is so rich, shouldn't he have service or something? This guy gonna help? Nah, that dude's a zombie. <clears throat> no, really. I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it, jackass. Automatic closing trunk? Okay, so now what? Here I'd love we to get are. some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Charlie, Not with October all the mist 26th. And fog. Lake Michigan. Yeah. From on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly wow. Um, up there, the, the visuals will be great, and we can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. Mm. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. We'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Yeah. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Ha <laughs> ha. Come on. We're off to Candy Mountain, Charlie. Shoot some footage from the top of the lighthouse. Oh my gosh. We are in it. I'm not worried about that yet. I'm looking for darkness. Look out into the light. For the last time, as you know what's about to happen. Can I get up in here? No? That'd have been nice. You say you fit. What's the run button? This is taking too long. Well, that's why I was trying to figure out the run button. There you go. Oh, butcher's dog. There you go. Notice how upper body strength is a requirement. Hey, guys. We're on it. Cool beans, cool beans. Is there a dark picture over here? Birdie? No? Cool. Okay. Ooh, Ooh, Jesus, my gosh. It's meant to be heard from miles away. Well, yeah, I know that in theory, but... 
Ooh, so yeah, it sounded right like eight. it was right in my ear. We must be able to work Shoot our some way footage around. from the top of the lighthouse, Come explore on. the cliffs to find an alternate Anything route. Anything for a shot, right? Well, I mean, potentially. What does this say? Inspect. Okay. Doesn't Warning. Look too serious. Cliff erosion. The, about everything falling the cliffs the are subject to erosion I'm and may collapse not into not deep die. water no. without sign warning. The lawyers make them put up. I'm sure it's fine. That is Hard a disagree. scary thought. How you're just standing there, looking out in the water, and then all of a sudden, you're in it. Nah. I'd be too tempted to go to the edge and look, too. Knowing my big behind will fall right in. Listen, Mark, I just wanted to say, um, thanks for backing me up, man. What? Over this log? Getting this footage? No, for the whole trip. You know some of the crew can be challenging to work with. Jamie and Kate would never have agreed to come if you hadn't been on board. I figured mm. that the episode was oh, such a mess. either way. We needed all the help. Interesting. We right. Yeah. I guess we do. There were two different ways for us to come up here, but the way up here looked the same on both ways. We had to vault over a log. Okay. I won't lie. I was hoping being here all remote and away from the world that maybe I'd have some downtime, some space to decompress. I feel downtime. that. Why would you want to do that? You know, relax a bit. You got to. I've never seen the attraction. <laughs> oh, man. Must have been quite a storm. In memory of the victims of the great storm of May 1st, 1907, in which 187 lives? The crew and passengers of the SS Cassiopeia, or Cassiopeia, which crashed into the rocks at the base of these cliffs. Wow! Oh my gosh! 187? That's crazy. All right, Butcher's Dog, hop over there. There you go. That's nuts, man. 187, dude. I can't believe that. Yeah, HH might have already got to him by now. I don't know what I was trying to say just now. Just roll with it. My brother, I'm gonna try to help you out to toggle your light source. Oh, you brought a lighter. Hey, Believe it or not. Hey, Raph, I'd like to take a couple weeks off, go see my family. I need you in post. I really appreciate that discerning eye of yours, you know. I got a lot going on at the moment, Charlie. Oh, mm. right, yeah, of course, sure. Take a couple of weeks, get your head together. I appreciate it. I'll be fine in post on that. Okay. You should do the same. Take some time out. You got any family you can go and bother? Oh. Wow. Nah, he's by himself. You can oh, already he tell. Got hiding in some closet somewhere. Married to the job. Married to the job. <laughs> How's that marriage working out? Well, from what I hear about real marriages, pretty damn good. Balance across rocks. <laughs> Married. Do to I the job. get? Do I get to like? Hey! Don't do it! Don't do it! I swear, there's a jump scare waiting for me. It was at that moment, Misfit Bear knew he done fucked up. Oh my God! <laughs> My gosh, <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. That had to be my best reaction to a jump scare ever. I have not moved that much ever, bro. That one was so good. I threw my headphones, I threw the controller, and I saw it coming, y'all. Woo! 
We're right back in there, y'all. Christ, what the hell is that? A mannequin, you know, just hanging out. <laughs> Maybe it's part of some old museum display or something. Right, that's probably it. Gosh dang it, man. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> That one's gonna stick with me, y'all. Oh, man. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Oh. I don't know what to say. <laughs> coming. Yeah. Just looking at the light on the mist. Oh, are How's you? How's that gonna fit into the show? It just caught my eye. Coming. What you? What you? What you looking Always at? Always the photographer. I can't oh, exactly turn okay, it off. okay, okay, okay. A lot of crossover. Yeah, that's real stuff beautiful. Commercial yeah. stuff. Mm. Yeah. You sure about that? Yeah, that's. Because crossover with Kate hasn't exactly. We agreed to let that drop for the weekend. Just making sure your head's in the game. Kate, wait a second. Wait a second. They got history. Oh snap, hold on. Okay, so that's chained up. We can go that way. But look at how subtle this was. Right next to the mailbox. All right. Oh, this can't be a dark picture. It's a newspaper. Fish, Fish factory, factory to, close. to close. Exciting times. Oof. Then the area had to have been going through hard times. Either that or all the fish, like, migrated away or died? Hmm. We are going through extreme lengths to get up here. Then again, I've done a little bit of photography work. You do have to go into the green. I'm keeping my eyes open and as far back from the mic as possible because <laughs> I feel like I'm going to blow y'all's eardrums out if I scream again like that. I thought I saw something behind them bushes. All right, let's get up in here. Oh. Easy. I swear, this looks straight out of a... something. I swear I've seen how this looks somewhere. <laughs> Boy. I'm this already on edge. They're just gonna equip items they have in their inventory. What? Wait a minute. Wait, wait, that works. What's that? Just some old Obols. Find the penny. Get Dioramas. Them. What are those? Look, sorry I give you a hard time now and again, but I really couldn't make these shows without you. That's not true. I may be driving this car. What car? The Lonnet Entertainment car. But you're the one who keeps the engine going. That's not how cars work. Jesus, you try and give someone a compliment. Thanks, Charlie. I get it. Okay, okay. Now let's go over and look at this door right here. Mmm, we have the opportunity to break that, don't we? I'm gonna move the trash can. Yeah, there we go. Can I get up it now? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh -huh. Still breaking and entering? How are you not in jail? <laughs> there we go. All quiet and everything. No noise, no nothing. Is that Christ, somebody chewing? That? Approach a hiding place. A hiding place? Hiding place! Crew members won't be spotted, so only I will be spotted. Nice to meet you, too. What in the fuck? Hmm. 
What was that? Y'all? Can I go back to God of War, please? No, turn the lighter. Just turn it on. Oh, no. I don't know what I want to do. Turn it off. Did something just break through this window? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Just take it slow. Inspect. Okay, so we got parts of the human body. Whoa! That was a dark picture? I had no idea. Explosion. Yeah, you got different parts of the body. Lung, liver, different organs. So, getting on a boat. We've got to be mindful of driving. Because if not, we're gonna have problems. Just need some fresh sheets, some nice drapes, and six gallons of sanitizer. Yep. I ain't scared. What y'all talking about? Who up in here? Anybody? No? Good. Who's up in this door? Nobody? Harry Potter? No? Good. Oh, I'm not moving them right now. Oh, oh, I thought <laughs> if you'd have kept on walking in the same path, you'd have took me up the stairs. Charlie, I'm getting an uneasy feeling about this. Yes. Somebody has a taxidermy hobby. Oh Relax. my <laughs> gosh. Some hobby. Some hobby is right. Parts of them. Oh my gosh. Is that actually happening? Or is that just a trick of the shadow? Because it's the bird and the rat from before. Squirrel? That's so interesting. Why is the squirrel, the crow, and the damn rat dripping like that? There's a ladder. Now, hold on a second. I don't know what to do. What is this? Oh, it's a taxidermy. That way, maybe. What in God's name is this? It's mechanical. Don't. Oh, my God. Ah! It moved. What? The thing. It moved. Got you. Got you. Can we get out of here now? Oh, we, we have to go up. Okay. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> right. It's gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay. Is that from the storm? Look at this. It's perfect. Wait a minute. Come on. Get shooting. What happened to the lighthouse the night of the storm? Ain't that what lighthouses are used for? I want you to we got all these, the all these things the that I don't like. Then zoom into that lighthouse. Look, it's all right. Come on, we better get back. I'm trying to figure out what the heck that was. What would have happened if I didn't hide? What would have happened if I didn't hide? Is that him? I don't know. We just had the one call. How did he know what our show was about in the first place? Uh, actually, I didn't ask. No, you That's were desperate weird. for the money. Let's just play nice, okay? You were desperate for the money. Hello, Mr. Lonnet. That's the brother I'm from Man of Medan. Uh huh. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. This is Mark. Mark. Aaron, Jamie, ladies, and this is Kate. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. I'm looking forward to seeing all it is you have to offer. What are you we smirking truly about? Appreciate this. Freaking Lovely Michael B. Jordan. What say we get underway? Again, I really can't thank you enough. Uh, Baron updated. Uh huh. Uh huh. The crew met Grantham Dumet. Okay, that's all he is. For okay. this opportunity. Okay. Of course. Was it your great uncle you said that? Um, uh, let's that get to where we're going. I'll explain everything later. Why do Why sure. do I feel that that's not him? 
I just feel like that's not him. That's all. What even are we on? I've never seen anything like this. It must be nice having transportation to your own dadgum island. Like, wow. Let's get up to the hotel. Uh, please, let's stay close. Okay, we're playing this game. Is it dangerous here? No, of course <clears throat> not. You sure? Because you don't seem sure. It's perfectly safe, but we are a long ways from help if somebody gets hurt, so please take care. I Looks guess like that is a good point. Up tight around here, God. This way. Don't worry about your bags, I'll make sure they're brought. Mm. Not dressed for a hike, not trying to cough up a lung. Oh, try not to cough up a lung, Charlie. Yeah, 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 let's be playful, lighten the mood a bit. Slow, deep breaths, Charles. Try not to cough up a diseased lung. I'll be fine. Just pretend there's a carton of smokes at the top of the hill. You're right. He takes his security very seriously. Ooh. I wonder what he's afraid will get in. Maybe you should be asking what he's trying not to let out. Jamie. Just saying. You watch too many horror movies. He values his privacy. No, she does You've not. Known that right from the start. She You've values her life. Two hours. Just go. She values her survival. I'm gonna keep Mark, baby girl alive. Camera. I want to grab a quick intro from here. I need some shots leading up to the house. Don't need the whole journey. Kate, talking to camera, then I'll direct you from there, okay? No photos. No recording of me at all. Is that clear? I'm a very private person. Don't worry, Mr. Dumet. Discretion is Lona Entertainment's motto. You want the usual intro stuff, Charlie? Please. Mm -hmm. The light is good. I'm ready to go, Aaron. It sounds clear. OK, let's go for a take then. Is Kate's face ready? Bitch, I'm always camera ready. Stop mm. trying to make me like you. Mm. Rolling. Speed. Don't tell um, me. Action. I've just arrived on the private island which claims to have genuine artifacts from H.H. H. Holmes' reign of terror. I'm heading to the house right now. Perfect, Kate. Now turn to face the house and start to walk. Okay, that's enough. And cut. We really do need to get going. Anything you say, Mr. Dumas? Got a little bit of him. This way. But Let's how much, though? Obviously. Uh-huh. Who is this person? Wheeling around a cart? What is that, Mr. a carrying Dumet, cart? Being really restrictive. I noticed. I want you to go look around without him knowing. A man is entitled to his privacy. He's cagey. I want to know what he's trying to hide. What do you want to do? What you did that time with those cops in Glendale. Mm? Seriously? Ah! Oh, ow! Oh, oh my! Damn it! What happened? You okay. Oh, oh, did you put ego snap. again? Oh! We should get her up to the hotel. Oh my! God, I can barely move it. Jamie, stay with her. Why me? Because you know first aid. Remember That's how you patched good. her up? In Glendale? Oh, right. Okay. We'll find some ice and a bandage and come back. You have that at the hotel? Yes, sure. Then let's go. Mm. What is going on? Come on. I'll clue you in later. Oh, okay. They got a whole yeah, little scheme going. Oh, yeah. What's Charlie mm -hmm. want? A better lay of the land. And we're the scouts because I'm charming, and you can hotwire your way past security. Come on. Uh-huh. 
Just carry around a <laughs> screwdriver. I see. Explore the island. I'm so curious as to what is going on with these two, and I hope it's not old boy. I don't even know hey, what his name can I is. Can ask you something and get a straight answer? I don't remember what you know, his name is. Making a smart ass reply or taking a shot at me. That works both ways. Go ahead and do it, then I'll Fine. pick this up. Oh, tell me the truth. Is there any saving this show? Maybe. There's some sort of magical holy grail of footage or information to be had here. You think that's likely? No. At best, we'll get some nice B-roll. That's not gonna save our asses. Hmm. Okay, so their show might run the risk of getting canceled, I guess. Ha <laughs> ha! Is anybody gonna look at this and think, that's not right? Who would look at this and think this is okay? Who? A random shoe? That kind of shoe in the woods? You know whoever wore them would not have walked out here willingly. Hell, I would not have even walked out here willingly. I mean, look at this crap. What am I even reaching for? Oh, another one of those. Check around every corner, no matter how weird the corner may look. So that was actually H.H. Holmes in the beginning, doing what he was doing, and now we're in the realm of a copycat killer. That really does check out. He could have told us to dress for a trek. I don't even think he thought y'all were going to come up here and be doing all this. They went to go do a lighthouse and we're Try here being nosy. Die. I don't want to see Mark cry. Thanks for the concern. Really? Hmm. Oh, nope. We got it. 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 Don't you worry about it. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Yes, sir. We got it. Back and forth, just like it said. Yes, sir. Wonder where this goes. Probably and straight through up here. and down the hill. Yeah. But what's on the other end? Nothing. Literally, nothingness. You ever heard that song, Long Black Train? <laughs> I could sing that song too. <laughs> up and down, just like that. Do you live out here on this island? Shh. Get down. With your family? My wife is... She died. Oh, shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Wow. Come on. We're about there. They didn't see us. Okay, I have to be mindful of that mechanic, dude. There's nothing out I barely made that. I keep expecting jump scares. Every corner I see scares me. <laughs> I'm just waiting for it. I'm waiting to flop back in this chair again. Oh, come on now. The one door that looks broke enough to kick and we can't kick it in. Can I hop over this? Oh, yes, I can. Uh-huh. Now, hold on a second. Can I go back? Yes, I can. All right. I want to explore out here for just a little bit more. Because there's all this stuff over here, and I ain't seen none of it. Can I go to the train? I can to go looking. to the train. Hold on. Oh, I can climb on top? Hold on. I hope I'm not progressing by accident. Oh, great. He's going to have a freaking decrepit looking butler. If I wanted to go on nature hikes, oh, I wouldn't have moved to the city. Did I progress? This shit is not in my job description. Gosh, dang it. Oh, I was so afraid of that. I should have knew better. No entry. Oops. <laughs> okay. If I can get the car moving and stop it here. We'll be able to get across. Potentially. I'm looking around. Making sure there's a ladder. Okay. Now hold on a second. I don't want to mess with that yet. Alright, there's nothing over here. Something in there. 
Well then, I can really get up here, huh? Yep. Wow. Oh, look at that! Ooh, I was supposed to come over here. Can I pick that up, please? Thank you. Another one? Oh no, it's not the same thing. There must be something around here. Whoa! Why do I have those? Hold on a second. Would those happen to be retries? Just a sheer guess. Retries? Because why... Why would one coin give me multiple ones? That makes zero sense to me. Hmm. There it is. Maybe we can get this thing working. Move the train car. Can we take the toolbox so we can have some tools? It was locked and I had to go around. Gotcha. Now, what happens? Are you sweating? What happens if we mess Jamie, with this? Jamie, can you fix this? Oh, we're switching the ball just like that? To enter, enter, equip the multimeter. Jamie can use the multimeter to fix fuse boxes. So I need to be on the lookout for fuse boxes. Interesting, okay. So everyone has their own skill. Now what is with this arrow down at the bottom here? Oh. Wait. It's that end that's really getting me right now. Because I clicked it the last time and I got it wrong. I'm going to take a guess. Got it. Got it. There we go. You Trixie Hobbit. Switching it back. Ooh, this music needs to quit. That ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Don't be doing that. The most monotone I will help you I have ever seen in my life. Right, we're still going. My goodness, we are so far away at this Through point. Here. Hear that? It sounded like a bear trap. I started following her. I'm still holding L2. I'm not playing around. Is that the freaking assistant? Yes, anything for you, master. You gonna be sounding like that? Stiletto heel. That's what I thought it was, but I couldn't tell at first. I'm like, what in the heck is that? Is that the heel to the shoe we saw about a hundred yards back the other way? <laughs> uh-uh, dude. Wonder what these are. Well. Hazardous substance? Nah, Charlie's trying to save the show. That's what Charlie's trying to do. Charlie done literally brought us to Candy Mountain. <laughs> Because we all finna lose our kidneys. And they know how to take our kidneys! You saw the diagram? Oh! Hey! Candy Mountain, Charlie! Oh. See? Oh, God, that's so much better. Wow, I guess bro. I just needed to rest it Are for a you minute. kidding I me? Okay. I found a shortcut up the hill. I really need you to stay where I sing. 
You got it, Mr. Dumet. We're all here now. Let's head on. Everyone stay under the watchful eye of Mr. Dumet, please. Kate. What do you think? A summer camp from hell. Mm. Whatever. We're gonna find out what's up his sleeve before too long. Don't worry about that. Oh, we saw his old boy Winston over there. Maybe. Oh, man. Yes. That's so bad. Oh, shit! We're all gonna die! Just go. <laughs> oh, my God. Relax, Mark. No, that stuff is serious. Ooh, that's serious drop. Oh, he yeah. is going through it. Oh. Yeah, let's don't tease him. You can do him. it. Eyes forward. Don't look down. I got it. It's fine. Is it though? Yeah, help your man out. I shouldn't have looked. It, it's Relation just water down update. there. There you, you go. You can swim. Besides, the bridge looks dependable. Ish. Mm -mm. Come on. I'll help. Oh, does he, is he faint? He looks he That's looks it. very faint. Look. It's fine. We've okay. got to be mindful of down. this bridge later. Yeah. <laughs> See? Not so bad. <sighs> Thank you. You always knew how to get me through the shit, didn't you? We should catch up to Mr. Dumet. Why'd y'all break hands like that? Now hold up a Where second. Is everyone? Apologies, uh, they're all city folk. Come on, let's go. We're losing the day, people. Hey, old boy has a, you know, little, little fear. You gotta make sure to be gentle with him. And help him survive. Because Killmonger is... We don't know what he's capable of. All them dadgum windows, man. Wow. This, wow. Mr. Dumet, this place is magnificent. Yeah. Maybe this won't be a waste of a weekend. That is beautiful, if not eerie and scary. I don't need to know that. We're already here. I wonder who you are. What are you doing? I, uh -uh. I saw a little girl. Up there. It's a dadgum ghost. Maybe it's your one fan. And now she's lost forever. Ain't You're that such a something. dick. What is going on with them two? Everything in here is fragile. Please be careful. Imagine accidentally breaking something. Dude, what? Straighten your face no, up. Please. Funny. He Whoa. looks like he's ready for it. Look at this. It's amazing. That this is, is so intense. gorgeous. Would you all mind signing in at the desk, please? Uh, this isn't everything. What? I'm sure the rest is almost here. I'll, I'll make sure it gets to your rooms. Kate's makeup case is slowing it down. Erin, cigarettes. Blue backpack. What are they missing? Settle in, and I'll meet you all at dinner. At eight. Mr. Dumet, I cannot say thank you enough times. This is truly fantastic. A late dinner. I told you all this was a good plan, didn't I? <laughs> I told you. Yes, get nosy, get suspicious. You're the only one who has 178.
Grandma? Oh, there you are. Busy, busy, busy. You've been out in a battle day. And I have to sit here worrying. Gone all day and not a word from you. She's not talking. I I don't think no, bro. No. Grandma was not talking, I'm sorry. I don't believe it. This is my dumb Oh <laughs> Sorry. Jamie. You're jumpy. Oh my god. I think I peed a little. How did you not hear me coming? I was... Looking. I don't think we're the only ones here. Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw. A little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, a staff, maybe friends. Who knows? As a recluse, That though. said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um... It's unique. Are you... singing? Oh. Yeah, that's my being scared song. Mm. This is my don't be scared song. Sing it and I won't be scared long. Doesn't really work. I bet. I mean, at least you got some. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. 183? This is me. Okay. 179. Okay. Good luck out there. Don't get lost. Scream if you need me for anything. Thanks. I got you. Nothing to be scared of. Actually, hey. Yeah? Why don't you hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room? Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. A yes. smart Thanks. person. I'd end up lost, probably. Let me look at his bearing real quick. Jamie invited Aaron into her room. Cool. Buddy it's, buddies, let's it's go. It's just a haul, dude. A hall that's nowhere near the exit. And here we are. Well, it's, um, cozy? Don't have to double up like last time. Like one of those capsule hotels. Sure. Hmm. It's one step above one of those Japanese capsule hotels. Oh, come on. Could be way worse. Like our room in Topeka. No, nope, do not. I've blocked that from memory and don't want it coming back. What happened Because of the there? roaches? Because if you snore. Oh, they was in a trash hotel, huh? Uh, where's the bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Ah, uh, gross school. What if I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Yep. Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Huh? Shows what you know. Don't do it. What is that? Wine, genius. Oh, I feel like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out and lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah, he does that. But we're not on the clock. Not until we're rigging to shoot. Which is hard to do drunk. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we get full on hammered before we work. Oh my gosh. Why are you doing that? What? I'm thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. Uh -huh. I don't. Cute? You think I'm cute? Hmm? Huh? Oh. Now, how did that happen? So clumsy. Want to share mine? Well, hold on. Let's 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 keep this Gotta going. Gotta stick on my own if you want to share lip cooties. Thanks, lip cooties? but I can find mine. Lip cooties. Where'd it go? Uh. He's getting real close. What are you doing? It's uh, all the way against the wall. See it? it? It yes, it does happen like that too. The remote, your phone, <laughs> everything. <Okay. coughs> Shit! You trying to scare me now? <laughs> no. Revenge? Cause good job. Was it dusty under there? Erin can use her inhaler. Oh, she has asthma. <laughs> Okay, so hold on a second. She has asthma. She's a tech genius. Charlie can open stuff. Old boy's afraid of heights. Everybody has something about them. 
Wow. Oh, you sure you're okay? You sure you're okay? Because, yeah, maybe me scaring you didn't help, did it? No. Wow. But seriously, I used it's to not have asthma as a kid, too. I just, I. I try to pretend like it isn't a thing, you know? Like, I don't want to be depending on an inhaler. I try to mind over matter it, but. Oh, no. Dust and allergies and. We have to be mind. Oh, just need my to be more gosh. We have so much you to sure? look out for. Sure. I'm sure. So she so, can uh, live without yeah. her inhaler as long as there's Cozy. no dust. <laughs> So under beds and attics, we got to stay away from there with her. Wow. You going to try that? I'm so scared. You are brave. And now you're poisoned. You it's not are that bad. Brave. You're not lying. It's pickle. You Decent are vintage. brave. Sure. I'm getting oaky undertones, a hint of citrus. I don't get a choice. I guess and I don't. I want to say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat drops. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I hate you. You are such a liar. Wasn't lying about you being cute. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant to thinking you were a cute thing. Really? Um, if my cheeks are red, it's from this wine. Are you Not because I am bashful. I swear. Mm -hmm. Really. Sorry. Didn't mean to make it feel weird. I, uh, yeah, it's just, we work together and Charlie is always on me about being more professional and- I get it. No, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. Er, er. Or that I don't think you're cute too. It's just, mm -hmm. um... It's just what, move, you you know you about to move in. Move in, let it happen. What are you doing? Uh, oh my God, oh. I, uh, I, I don't know why <laughs> I thought, I, oh you bitch. That's so messed up, I'm dude. I was fucking with you, I wanted to kiss you for months. I was I about was to say. Scared to make a real move. I was about to say. I thought I was playing as her. Hold up, okay, Baron updated. Aaron dropped her chapstick. Jamie and Aaron kissed. It didn't matter. Oh, oh. Sorry, sorry. Dang, calm down. Y'all just kissed for the first time. Who is that? Don't do it. Enjoying yourself out here? Enjoying yourself out here like some sort of pervert? Sorry, did I uh, interrupt something here? No, we're just talking stick. shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. Yeah, yes. If this place is running on a generator, we need to know what it's putting out. Gotcha. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room and I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you, I've just been down there. Look, give me 10, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You've got 10 minutes. Okay, we'll all right. be down in a few then. Can't find his room, but can... Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. Give demands. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Oh. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. Okay, chill out, cuz. <laughs> no, don't... Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. To be continued. To be continued, then? Yes, definitely. Absolutely. Let, 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 her, let her leave with that in her mind, you know? Good luck finding your rooms. <clears throat> that door closed was strange. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. No way. Where the 
hell are they going? <laughs> to safety. That's where they're going. Oh, no. Like I said, I got the feeling that wasn't him. Why would he leave his house? Check that mirror right now. Oh my gosh, it's... Right there. What in the heck? A mannequin? Oh no. Charlie, you finally found your room? Well, I'm looking. Oh, Kate wanted you to have this. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety. Are you fucking kidding me? Does I think Charlie she thought it might help anxiety? with your stress. Or... Absolutely not. I'm not stressed. Okay? Uh-huh. Do I look fucking stressed? Uh... That was rhetorical. Well, your cards came out nice enough. Oh, yeah. Embossing. Makes a huge difference. You old guys love business cards. Okay. Old school. You old school guys. Charlie has anxiety and I that's probably put it on what? heavy stock. What? He can use his business cards to open drawers? I should have had one ready for <laughs> Wait a minute, Charlie. What have you Did been you getting them? into? I no. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <sighs> Jesus. I mean, we did have our stuff. Wait. Could the cigarettes have made any sort of marker or something? Like the smell could have led to where he was? Or is he using them for... Hmm. Interesting. Desperate, be methodical. Just instructor. Don't Look, be Look, stop desperate. tearing around in there like a maniac. Be organized about it. Methodical. Overbearing. Blue bag, front pocket. I made a specific mental note of it. They're gone, Charlie. Mm. Gone? Just like that. Now his anxiety's gonna get worse. Are you saying worse. somebody took them? I, I don't... Actually, I can see Kate doing that. Or Jamie. I'm sorry. Details matter. Just don't say nothing. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient. You need them that bad? Yeah. There's a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? Yeah, he does. I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in bars, so... Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. It's not legal to smoke in bars? I guess it was... Well, what, what time period is it? What are you... Really? Where the heck do y'all... Well, y'all are at Lake Michigan, so... I guess they do things differently there, I suppose. I... The last time I went to a random door, the almost scope fell of this to my desk. Is... I can't believe we've lucked into this. Yep. Are you worried it will make our other episodes look cheap? They are cheap. Can't be helped. Yeah. Pick this the book up. will be the one that people remember. Pick the book the up. The one that wins an Emmy. Exactly. That's the spirit. J. P. Stick Hunter. with me, Erin. I'm going places. Professor J. P. You Hunter. Think we'll get another season. Let me worry about that. You stick to making sure that my life runs smoothly and I'll make sure you keep working. Sound good? Uh, sure. There you go. Professor J.P. Hunter is an author and counselor with over 20 years of experience helping patients overcome their anxiety and panic attacks. Within this book, you will find a step-by-step -step guide designed to give you the tools you need to find a path out of the maze of anxiety. J.P. Hunter has helped thousands of people manage their anxieties and give them the confidence they need to break down walls and tackle their demons face on. I feel that. Shoot, I might have anxiety nowadays. Alright, so every door here is locked. This right here is for sure a false wall. And I hear no people either. What do you think a person who has all this money and literally made a replica 
of H.H. Hey, H. Holmes's hotel. What do you I think they do next all season, day? Maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Oh? Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your bags and picking up your laundry? Mm. Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. What is this mean? Show you're ready to muck in. That's what they I... all say. I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? Oh, it was just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm an just... An assistant? A personal assistant? Sort of. And then I could help out with the editing. Pardon me? The editing? The audio mix. Look, I Don't just do think it, Charlie. you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Yeah. Exactly. So, do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. Yeah, for sure. Rachel no, but Davis, I mean real movies. Jackie Fiddles, With a big budget Scott and Dorn, big stars. Grace Fletcher. Erin, there's something Harrison important Lee, that you have to understand. Lee, In the work that Thomas we do, Hall, the very Cecil important Hall, work, Hall. the truth is the star. Oh, right. Ow. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move so on from this? So they checked out. A week to two weeks later. Those are some extended stays on there. My gosh. And here's my thing, Charlie. Knowing that other people handled our stuff on the way up here, why wouldn't you think they were taken? I suppose I should be thankful. It's just my cigarettes that are missing and not our gear. And mind you, why didn't you take care of your own smokes? That's what I don't get. Why did you give them to somebody else? You must really think that this girl is nothing if you make her hey, handle maybe your Mr. cigarettes. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. Doors with keyholes can be unlocked using keys. Open the bar. Smokes. Dang it. Jackpot. Erin. I found the key. Oh! Huh, why is that here? Why is that just chilling right there? Hey, ooh, do I not have the key anymore? Ooh. Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Had a girl. Dang, this nice ass bar and just Hello? nobody is in here. Let me take out my light source because I'm going Mr. into the Dumas? darkness. Nope, nope. Can I aim that? Nope, Hello? sure can't. When did you get there? Uh-uh, bro. <laughs> uh-uh. Examine, what is this? All right, go ahead and take that. Richard Belk. Richard! Miss Kelly Schroeder, once again, I would like to thank you for the incredible work you and your team achieved at the hotel. I'd like to extend my heartfelt condolences. The accident that befell the skeleton crew on the lake is nothing short of a tragedy, and I, in part, feel responsible. In honor of them, I have spent the last several months applying the finishing touches to the hotel, and I'm proud to say that we are almost ready to open to the public. Please allow me to extend my sincerest gratitude. I invite yourself and the rest of your team to join me for the grand opening ceremony, 7 p.m. Friday, November 17th, 2017. Okay. I promise a spectacular evening with themed entertainment, including a barbershop quartet. I'm sure you will agree that all of your hard work was worth it when you enjoy the unique hotel experience. Sincerely, Richard. And made that joke in a hot minute. Cigarettes. Wow, we. Yes. <laughs> yes. <sighs> exact change only. Of course it was exact change. Damn it. Don't do it. 
I'm sitting here like, don't you do it. There's literally a person right there. There's literally a register right there. Okay, so. Wow. Oh! <laughs> what will it be, Mr. Demet, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? Uh-oh. Hello? A packet of smokes. I figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Bowman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> no fucking way. Is he gonna go get him? I don't suppose you've got any spare change back there, have you? So not. Oh, but you're gonna give us the opportunity to take it, though, ain't you? You really are gonna give us the chance to take it. Mm. In this instance, what do I do? Do I steal, get in there for the cigarettes to cure his anxiety, and potentially create an odor? Or do I let him deal with it? Another newspaper. Beast of Arkansas! Good to you all. I'm Chester Bell, Assistant Director at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. At approximately 0530 local time, a team led by Special Agent Hector Monday and supported by law enforcement officers uh -huh. conducted a raid of a motel room just outside oh. Birmingham, Alabama to apprehend Manny Sherman, the man known as the Beast of Arkansas. I thought he was talking about Holmes. Using state-of-the-art psychological profiling techniques, Special Agent Monday and members of his task force not only identified their suspect, but predicted his movement with unerring accuracy. Okay. I'm delighted to say we have our man. Well, well, well. Aha! Uh -huh. A motel room. Are we gonna start seeing a bunch of stories that have something to do with criminals and hotels? My objective says I need to get the cigarette, so... What would happen? Prairie. Alright. Mr. Robot Man, don't flip out on me. Don't grab me, please. Wow, that's locked too? And I don't have a key. <laughs> that's how you do that! Next round's on me. Promise. I didn't realize there was a prompt. Could I have done that earlier? Yes. Come to daddy. Uh-uh. I don't Wait. like it. It's a trap. Wait. It's gotta be a trap. It's gotta, it's gotta, it's gotta be a trap. Don't do it. It's gotta be a trap. Don't Life do it. Would be so much easier with that in my jacket pocket. I don't trust it. It's too automated. I'm sorry, Charlie. I don't trust. I still have to do it. Got to figure out how to get him out. Oh yes. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Ha. Uh uh. Somebody's controlling that. Quick time. Charlie, watch your back. What? No, come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. I knew it was a daggum trap. Uh, antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes. Right, you. That's it. Charlie. I'm gonna go get my key grip, and they are gonna kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Charlie. Yeah. Who was I'm that? Still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. 
and I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Who was that? Are you that? alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? Yeah, it turned, Charlie. Uh-uh, fam. Mark. Okay, Mark is your name. Oh, uh, hey. <laughs> I've been Have watching a lot of RDC here lately. <laughs> you want to shoot now? Yeah, if we get it shot and in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, sure. Mark's got the camera. So he what? could take pictures, nothing. record, maybe sense. the flash can blind stuff. somebody. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? Mm. I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. Mm. Don't say nothing. Hello? Jesus, you're on another planet. What? Just get the camera and let's go. All right. Okay. Relax. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. I let the, I let the decisions like flow remember. to me. I just want to look decent. Amy can set up lights. You look good in any light. There we go. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? Marginally. <laughs> I'll take it. Ark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? Ooh. I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish. Or both. In the golden hour. Yeah, say something. Before we... Look, can I say something? We agreed that we're sticking to just the job. Right. Which is why you can't just roll up and drive by psychoanalyze me. I... Okay. You're right. That wasn't fair. I'm sorry. We don't need to rehash stuff. Let's just work. Oh, did they have a falling out? They they must have. Just be supportive, No, you're you right. Know? I, am. Uh... You're right. We agreed. I'm sorry. Mm. Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> mm hmm. Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Find a good let's location find a way up to there. shoot. Find a way to the second floor balcony. How's Use the new Mark's place? camera to search do for, for photo opportunities. You like it? The camera's it's just a place to keep my shit in crash. Short term lease, so I can take my time to find something I really like. That's. Mm, smart plan. You said I needed to be out, so I got out. I was complimenting. Oh, sorry Whoa, about that. There, Bucko. I was just checking for light. Remember our talk about boundaries? Oh, is that your I room? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Then maybe you should shut the door. Sometimes I'm And not you psychically dirt. shut it. Other times, it makes for some weird ass rules. I was worried you you'd be went sleeping on the couch in the studio while you obsessed over finding the perfect place with the right wall color near the proper train station or bus stop or Maybe we should just oh. add this topic to our discussion no fly zone list. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, you're probably right. Though they did have some issues. Inspect. So since we can't do it tomorrow, in the heck? It's next weekend, okay, to come and get my stuff. There's something back here. To come and get my stuff? Dang! What happened? She didn't even say nothing to that either. Ooh, we can hear the beach. Or at least the so ocean. So if Dumet catches us in here. Are we breaking one of his rules? He did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of me. Yeah, we I just go like move Demet on. Is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules. Yeah. Oh, what was your first clue when he took away our phones like we were kind of teenagers? Yeah. 
Was he the devil? Is this a real book? Is this a real book? If it is, that's because they have to use some real life stuff. This man was real. They have to do something like that. What is that? This takes me back. Is that like a cleaver hit? I the hell out of my desk in middle school. That don't look Rebel. like a carving. <laughs> like somebody hit it with a hatchet. <laughs> In front of the papers, no less. Ooh. And the monopod. Okay, got you. Uh huh. You almost got me. You almost did. <laughs> but even though I hit that, <laughs> even though I hit the center button by accident, I still got it. Births, deaths, marriages. Mr. and Mrs. Robert Hall, hold on. Hall was in that sign-in sheet. Mr. and Mrs. Robert Hall of Silver Spring announced the birth of their daughter, Marilyn, on June 10th at White Oak Hospital. Elaine and Stephen Wright of North Park announced the birth of their son, Maurice, on June 10th at White Oak Hospital. On behalf of their daughter, Lucinda Monday, Proud grandparents George and Irene Monday of Silver Spring announced the birth of their grandson Hector Whalen on June 11th at White Oak Hospital. And why the Monday? Monday is circled? Is that... So it was obviously off of a newspaper clipping. So I guess it was for the sake of... I don't like this room. Hold up, girl. Watch out. Watch out. This door ain't big enough for the both of us while you're glitching me into the wall. Look at what you did. You broke my heart and then you broke my game. Break out the fucking camera. Do something. Do something. Get me up out of here. Get me up out of here right now. <laughs> get me... Get, flash your face. Thank you. Look at this wall. Thank you. I told you the camera flash would work, but that's over to the balcony. We needed to get there. We gonna have to go through here first. Since this you wanted to be in here so that gum bad. Everything here is old as hell. I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. Nope. Gonna be able to jump Looks out Looks like Dumet window. is trying to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the ghost. Rod is gonna set in. Right, that's it. What? But since we got here, I've been smelling something faint, distant. He's on to it. it. It's decay. Decay? You literally smell decay? Old oh, house. my brother. Island beaches with dead fish, animals in the wood. Could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell. May they rest in peace. Make noise. Make noise. That's smart. We over here alone. Just exploring. Keep your head down. Yep, because I don't like it. Make a tally of the room real, real quick. Real quick. <clears throat> oh, God. Oh, God. Yep, I got stuff on me. This should work. Mark? Oh. You okay in there? I'll be right back. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, let's grab this and move it back over. Anybody in the window? Nope, thank God. Am I supposed to hop up on that and go into that other area? If so, I didn't realize that. That's exactly what I was you supposed do to do. I didn't see this earlier. <laughs> right. Because we're getting that key, right? I sure hope so, because I don't know where we are. Gotcha. There it is. Mm-hmm. Balcony. 
So we needed to come in here to get this. Got it. Now, can we go out this way? No? Also. Oh. I keep pressing square. I get square and X mixed up. Mark, be careful. We can have up to four items. Whoa. Just come oh, on. Oh boy. It's not that high. My vertigo is saying otherwise. Got you. So it's bad, bad. That's what was going on earlier. He was getting dizzy and lightheaded. Thought we were in a hurry. Don't worry, you look fine. Don't say nothing. Something I can help you with? You're staring. What? No. Uh, sorry. I wasn't about to interrupt her. She's doing her thing. Damn okay, Ooh. check this out. What? It's his hat. Who? H.H. H. Holmes. Don't. Don't. No. Oh my god! Fuck. You okay? No. I hit circle. I just... This I hit circle. Popped out of nowhere. I promise. I promise. I hit circle. <laughs> I hit it. I promise. See? I hit what it. What is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. <sighs> it can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. It scared me. Hey, I don't know how me. many times. It's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on. Let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Oh my gosh. I can't. <laughs> hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing Mark. up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, Big you facts. came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. Charlie can be a pain in the ass. We're tired of watching you fight. I mean, Charlie can, Charlie does have an attitude, but it's also because of his anxiety, too. You know what? He can be a... I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Yeah. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw them. Let's just be real. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? Mmm. That's how directors have to be. He seems to think he owns us. Hmm. Let's go with this Charlie one. does seem to think he owns us. He's so damn controlling. I don't let him control me. Why else do you think we fight so much? Immature. Did you know Aaron hasn't been paid in weeks? What? He told her that learning from him was its own reward. Oh, hell no. Nah. Shit. He has her running around town, picking up his laundry, doing that's his shopping like he can't I, do anything for himself. That's why I'm glad I Doesn't picked matter. the answer I picked. One way or another, I am moving on from Lawn at Entertainment. I thought we'd move on together, get out while you can. Uh, they broke up. I'm not fixing to hash that out. Good for you. That's... That's definitely the right call for where your career is going. That sounded very sincere. Because it is. Yeah. Charlie would replace Says us in a second train. if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. I mean, after all, what Charlie did send us here. You should give up wow, uh-huh. I was quite moved by I knew that. you were over there. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Whatever your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonit Entertainment, and Lonit Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonit employees are professionals, yes? So start acting like it. Great. Happy? You have a future, and now I don't. You wanted to take two that weeks off after this child. anyways, bro. And somehow Calm down. we all sink to his level. Bro, calm down. Uh-uh. You see how it looked like a real person at first, and then the lines of the mannequin face showed up? 
Nah, fam. Bro, what are you even sewing? was sticking out of its eye. Hey guys, it's Charlie. At the end of the day, we all got issues. Let's talk about it. Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just poor Mark. Ooh who doesn't show up to their own dinner party? Who doesn't show up to their own dinner party? Yeah, because we all saw him None of you did anything dip. to piss him off, did you? No, Dad. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ah, oh, Mr. Dumet! I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine, hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? Yeah, that dude ain't coming. Wait. Why? Right, You because, saw all the snide yeah. things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? All right. When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Can't be. He must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. And how do we leave? That's the question that people should be asking. They're in okay, a big I know ass you see it. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for sure? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? And leave behind wine. Oh my gosh, angry? Don't say nothing. I don't like either of them I'm, answers. I'm just saying, it doesn't make any sense. And it's freaking me out a bit. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leave to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet? I've been jumping like three times now. As much as it pains me now. from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. But that doesn't explain why he stitched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know. Huh? So when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Wait a oh, minute. God, Could he have actually been doing that worse. though? Hold on. Okay. okay, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? Wow. I'm just saying. She's a bit too Guess you never found your cigarettes. She's a bit too forward about it, but she is 100% right. I found a pack of invisibles. No, it was the sh machine The bitch of it is, I did find a machine, but just like everything else in this fucking place, it's ancient and broken. So what are we doing? We just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? Sincere? What's the plan, Charlie? Huh. The plan? In true lawn and entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us, and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. Mmm. Well, here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. <sighs> just ragging on him. You know what? Toast to the crew. Now, I would like to toast all of you. Really. I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of 10. Mm -hmm. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. Everybody's you relationships going up. Aaron, what? Bro, why is Aaron specific in this? Don't be mean. And finally, to our newest recruit, oh, Ellen, we would be lost that's without That's why. You. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? Give her something. Thank you all for your hard work. You're probably finna die anyways. Cheers. Cheers. Don't do Twice. it. Mazel tov.
what we can get here can take the show to the next level. Sure, if we have time to get it all. Yeah, he totally hurt us. <laughs> There's no way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. You brought it up. I mean, that is true. What was that, Kate? Nothing important, just spitballing some ideas. I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. Shouldn't be hard. Nah. Just go into the um, corner. Um, does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What do we want to do first? So what's Charles? gonna happen? You're the boss. Who's gonna Thank control you. stuff? I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things would begin. Or are we just gonna wander? Cuts. With what light's already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. Oh. We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Dumet shows up? I'll be having a strong word. If he tells us to stop, I'm gonna be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. Hell yeah. All right, everyone grab what they need and we'll meet in the lobby. Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes. Perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. I'd love to hear that. Is he okay? Shouldn't take me long at all. Great. 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 Uh-huh. Bearing updated. Kate saw a girl in the window. Dumet didn't turn up for dinner. Interesting. Well then. Oh, is that supposed to be Charlie? Whoever that is is such a weirdo. Aaron. Who, what now? Hello? Guys? Is that you? Don't be doing that. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, nope, nope. Nope. I have had enough. We are going to go ahead and call this first episode of the Dark Pictures Anthology, The Devil and Me, here. I hope you enjoyed the scares, because I didn't. If you did, why not leave the video a like? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, why not consider subscribing? Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of this mayhem. Until next time, I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more, for I will continue to make these videos for Mini Moons. Stay safe out there, and never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.